Are you wanting to strengthen your core and your pelvic floor without Kegels and sit-ups? This is the perfect class for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa and we're jumping right into it today. So if you happen to have a block or a pillow, go ahead and grab that and let's come down onto your backs. So we're going to grab the pillow or the block and just place that in between your knees. Now we're going to make sure that our rib cage is over our pelvis. So our ribs aren't lifting up. Gentle breath, breathing out to the sides, front and back of our rib cage, and exhale, squeeze in around that block. We wanna feel a gentle lifting up of those pelvic floor muscles and lower abs. Inhale, soften. Exhale, squeeze and pull up. Now you can always put a pillow behind your head and your shoulders to help feel that core a little more. And it's all about what we're feeling finding the progression that works best for you so that you feel these muscles firing up. Use that breath. Awesome job. It's like you're blowing out candles. And you can emphasize that exhale a little more to see if it helps you connect with those muscles. Good. Now, if this is feeling great and you want to stay here, awesome. If you want to add on, we can bring those knees in towards your chest. On your exhale, same thing. Squeeze. We want to be very careful that our stomach isn't pushing or bulging up. That it's this gentle squeeze, lifting up, and then soften. Exhale, gentle squeeze, and then soften. Use that breath. We want to be real careful we're not tucking and jamming our back down into the ground. We have a neutral pelvis that helps us optimize our core. So a lot of times when we're working on strengthening our pelvic floor and our core, we think we have to do Kegels and just squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. But what that's doing, it's not allowing us to use our whole entire core system together. We're constantly moving throughout the day and we're not just sitting and squeezing. These muscles need to be lengthened and then activated. And that's why the breathing is so key. Good. Now, if you want to add on one more little bit, you can bring your arms by your side, thumbs facing up. Exhale, push those arms into the ground about 50%, 25, 50%, and then soften. See if that makes any difference. Can you connect with those muscles a little differently? Maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe you lift those shins up a little bit higher. It makes it a little more challenging. You're finding which one works best for you so that you can activate all those muscles. Nice job. We're gonna do five, four. Really connecting with the core and using your breath can make a simple core exercise so challenging and really get those muscles fired up. Good, we've got two. Nice job. Last one. Great. Let's take that block out. We're going to roll onto our right hand side. You're going to take the block or the pillow and place it in front of you. Prop up onto your right forearm. We're going to take that left leg, extend your left leg back. Make sure the hips rolled forward. Shoulders are going to be stacked. You could also do this laying all the way down. We're going to take our hand in front of us, placing it down on the block or the pillow. When you go to exhale, push into the block and lift the leg inhale lower down exhale push and lift inhale lower down exhale push we want to be careful the legs not too far in front that that leg is reaching back lift through the heel and back down so we're feeling the outside of the glutes and then all of our core kicking on use that breath I'm just checking in what muscles are firing good Keep connecting with the breath. What are you noticing? All the core muscles. We want to be careful that it's not just upper abs. We're feeling everything going. Nice work. We're going to do five, four, three, two, last one. Bring that leg in and then let's just switch it over to the other side. So you can be all the way down or stay propped up onto that left forearm. Take your right leg, extend your right leg out. Lengthen through the heel, roll that hip forward. On your exhale, push down and lift. And then bring it back down. 
exhale, push and lift and drop it down. Nice job. Check in with that leg. Make sure the foot's not rotating up. It's not too far in front. Those toes are facing forward. And then compare what muscles are kicking on on this side compared to what you felt on the other side. How can you change the breath or emphasize it a little more to get into the core and those pelvic floor muscles? Our breathing muscle and our pelvic floor have this relationship, constantly going down and up and down and up. So that's why breathing is such an awesome place to start to really build that strong pelvic floor. So we got five, four, three, two, last one. Bring that leg back down. Let's move that off towards the side. And then we're gonna come into a plank on our forearms. So you can either stay on your knees or if you wanna prop up onto those toes. We wanna to make sure we're not sinking, we're not up too high. We're pressing through those heels, pressing into your forearms. We're not gripping and squeezing those abs. We don't wanna create more pressure in our abdomen. The inhale, breathing out to the sides, front and back, and the exhale, feel those lower abs and pelvic floor dropping in. Good, now maybe you hold. And maybe you wanna tap one knee and then the other side. Using your breath for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, you got this, five, four, three, two, last one. Drop down to those knees, pull yourself, come all the way up. We're gonna take our left leg straight out to the side. Our rib cage stays stacked over pelvis. We don't wanna be too far back. Option, hands can come in towards heart center or those hands can come behind the back of your head. We're really active in those feet. Nice breath in, we're gonna lower to the right hand side. Go to where you feel comfortable and then exhale, like you're blowing out candles, pull back up. Good, drop it down and then pull up. Good job. Staying with your breath. I'm just making slight little adjustments to see what makes you feel it in these core muscles a little differently. Good, down and up. Good work. Lengthening down and up, open through that chest. Good, we've got five, four, three, two, last one. Take that left leg in, right leg goes out. See if you notice anything from side to side. How's the control? What muscles do you feel activating? Hands here or here. And we're dropping down and then pull lift back up. Drop it down and back up. Nice work. All those muscles firing up. Press into your legs. Great job. Staying with breathing all the way around that rib cage. We're making sure the breath goes down and then it comes back up, that it's not staying here and we're not doing those big belly breaths. That's gonna inhibit how you're able to effectively use your core. Good, five, four, three, two. Nice job, last one. Good, pull it back up. We've got one more plank, you got this. Come down onto those forearms so you can stay on your knees, you can come back out to your toes. Find what option works best for you. Maybe you lift, come all the way up, lengthen out, use your breath, and then maybe you wanna tap one leg and then the other side. A little tap from one side to the next. Keep pressing into those forearms, great work. You've got this, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lower all the way down. Pull yourself forward, open up so you can stay on those forearms or keep pressing, lift all the way up. Nice stretch in that abdomen. Exhale, let it go. Awesome, take one more nice gentle breath in. Exhale, lower everything all the way back down. Whew, awesome job with that core and pelvic floor workout. 
pull everything come back up let's take one last nice big cleansing breath in exhale bring those hands down towards heart center remember that consistency is key and it is so important that you're feeling both the lengthening and that activation if you're still struggling with the breathing or not sure what you're feeling i've got some stuff for you down below in the description box if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up it helps share it with other people and i'd love to know down below in the comments which one was your favorite keep up the good work until next time namaste